Hi, my name is Laura Davis and I'm an engineer at Dyson working on the electric vehicle project. Today's challenge that I'm going to perform for you is the floating ping pong challenge. The brief is to make two ping pong balls float in the airflow of a hairdryer at the same time without hitting each other. It's absolutely no coincidence that I'm doing this challenge and Dyson produced their very own supersonic hairdryer. So what you need is two ping pong balls and a hairdryer. Of course, it doesn't need to be a supersonic, but um, supersonics are very good. So the method, switch on your hairdryer, making sure it's on the cool setting. Hold it with the nozzle pointing upwards. Take the first ping pong ball and place it into the stream of air. Take the second ping pong and place it into the same stream of air on top of it. Get a little bit of a success down. Let's try it one more time. There we go. So how does this work? So the hairdryer produces a high velocity stream of air with low pressure. And the surrounding air keeps the ping pong ball inside the stream. So when we put it on, we place the ping pong ball inside the stream. The surrounding air keeps the ping pong ball within the stream. So when the ping pong ball is said to be in equilibrium, this is when the force from the airflow equals the same weight as the ping pong ball. This is the same reason why we're able to fly aircraft. So the theory behind this is um, Bernoulli's principle. This is an equation linking air pressure, velocity and density with particle weight. So give that one a Google and try and get your head into that equation. And please try this at home, it's really fun. Give it one more go. Just help them have a little ping pong ball at home. Oh, there we go.